What is going on guys? It's Austin here with Express Towing. Uh, we got a little bit of a new series coming up. Uh, I did purchase something. I did purchase something new. Uh, since I have filmed anything, uh, we got the rollback, obviously. Y'all don't even know about the wrecker, um, but I did purchase a 2012 Dodge 5500. Um, I will do a separate video on that and uh, the build of that. Um, but today, we're going to move over to a new truck that we purchased uh, on Tuesday. I uh, saw it on Facebook Marketplace. I was like, I gotta have this. It was cheap. Uh, got in contact with the guy. Drove up about an hour and a half away. Paid for it. Um, it is it is rough. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. But it'll be a fun series for the channel. Fun series for us. Because uh, I like buying old tow trucks and making them new. I bought that 2019. It's been an awesome truck, but you just can't beat the old stuff. Um, anyways, uh, it needs injectors. It needs the bed redone. It needs interior work. It needs paint. Uh, it is rough. But uh, without further ado, let me introduce you to the banana boat. The 2004 Ford F650. Jerdan XLP carrier with a 21 and a half foot bed. All steel. Uh, it is rough. It is definitely rough. Um, today, we're going to start with taking the light tower off, uh, get the free spool release off the back of it, and the light tower is going to get powder coated. The bed's going to get redone. The truck's going to get painted. The steps are going to get fixed. It needs, like I said, a set of injectors. It's leaking every single fluid hydraulic fluid, trans fluid, engine oil. Uh, okay, it's not leaking coolant, so I guess that's a win win. Um, but we're going to get this thing into the shop. Uh, and start working on it. Here we go. Uh, it's got a 5.9 Cummins with a Allison automatic transmission. Um, it also needs a light bar because that's junk, but we're going to convert that to LED like what we did on the Transito. Um, needs the passenger side or the driver's side bed controls. They're a little jacked up. Uh, there we go. Reverse lights work. That's a surprise. Um, brakes work. It's juice brake, spring ride, uh, not air ride. Kind of don't want air ride on something like this. Just more stuff to replace, more stuff to go wrong. Um, I don't know. It's just personal preferences, I guess. Um, the new truck that we buy, it'll be air ride, air ride, air brake. Because um, I am looking at a 2025 International just to add to the fleet. Um, we are going to show you how the bed works here in a second. Get that thing top down. Let's get this thing into the shop real quick. All right, so like I said, driver's side controls are shot, but the passenger side controls work great. <clears throat> We're gonna get this thing rolled back. Oh yeah. Do what? Yeah, I know. It's got issues. Yeah. Alrighty. There we go. Better look at this thing. These half fenders are getting replaced. Uh, I honestly hate these things. I don't know. Uh, if I'm gonna go back with the chrome or do black or something, um, I don't know, probably chrome. They just look good ish. The people that I bought it from uh, have no idea what a pressure washer is. Uh, it has so much caked up grime and grease on it. But, but anyways, uh, we're gonna get this light tower off. It is four bolts one, two, three, four. The Winch control, which all you do is pull a cotter pin out there, slide the pin out. You could take that whole rod assembly off and then the two bolts on the back side. Uh, this light bar is going in the trash. We do not need that. That thing is junk. It's from the 80s. Um, anyways, without further ado, we're going to get these bolts off and we're going to get that light tower off and start prepping the rest of the bed. So there's two variations. You got a bolt with a nut and then you got just a straight bolt. So we're gonna do the bolt with the nut on both sides first, and then we're gonna undo the bolts, uh, mainly because the bolts are in the back side. I don't want it to tip. 
uh, we'll have one of the guys come give us a hand as soon as I have them undo those bolts. We'll kind of just slide this thing all the way down the bed. Uh, have no idea how heavy it's going to be. Um, but we're going to find that out real quick. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's get uh, let's get to it. So we forgot about the uh, winch linkage. We're going to disconnect that real quick. You said 17? Yeah, I think so. Get it. We're fighting. That'll work. I need that to do that again. Get out of the hole. You got the pliers? I'll put these in a bag. Here, toss that with it. Is there a nut on the back side? Put that on that one. Middle one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, why would you touch it? I don't know. Alright, second one. Good. That shit just dropped, didn't it? Yup, but they're getting replaced anyway, so. That does not matter. that piece if anybody doesn't know what the free spool looks like for the winch here it is got the return spring this your pin that goes through here and connects to the shaft that goes in and out to lock the gear in basically you pull this and it unlocks it push it in it locks it back anyways you need to keep this uh, wires cut for the light bar uh, we won't need that old Hoyt will run a new wire for it um now just gotta boogie on with the bolts up underneath i'm gonna i'm gonna assume with how rusted all this stuff is that these are not gonna come lightly well, that was i would be proven wrong Super not a hammer, but it can be used for one. Those are getting replaced too. Those are crusty. <laughs> Just one. All right. Over there. You want the wrench POV? We're going to give you the wrench POV. Hey, look at that. Hey. Now for the main bolts. Got it up under there. And then there's one on that side. This wire. There we go. Uh, Hoyt will tie in the other light bar to that wire. All right, so now, here we go. <laughs> you ready? I just undo both the center. Okay. One. Drop. Two. Is it heavy? Thank you. 
That was not bad. It'll go get sandblasted. They'll fix everything that needs to be fixed metal wise. Uh, I mean, look at that primer and paint. Uh, we got to take this off now and then uh, we'll take it over to Renaissance and drop it off. All right, four bolts holding this thing on. And that thing is going in the dumpster. Uh, now, these bolts right there. Should, leave, leave it on. Well, I don't know what the new light bar is gonna, we'll, keep, we'll take these off and keep them. Yeah. Uh, and that way we have them. Regardless of but, we have a place here that we can throw Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take these off and then keep those uh slide this truck back out get this loaded up onto the rollback take it over to renaissance all right next thing we want to take off the manufacturer tag um don't want that to get powder coated over Let's see if i can hit the center of these rivets with one hand one two Come on, focus. Three. Wow. Wow. What is going on here? I am like on the bed, so I'm at a little bit of an angle disadvantage. Two hands this time. Look at that. All right. Oh. Put that in for safekeeping. Put that back on once it's done. All right, it's bare. Uh, we're gonna roll this bed back up and get this thing up out of here and then back the Ford in, load it up, take it to Renaissance. So it keeps blowing the PTO fuse, so we're gonna run a new wire. Uh, just had to pop a new fuse in that, but. All right, she's loaded up, strapped down. Renaissance. Better than this gear here. You've been here like 12 times. Oh, that's true. Look at that. A uh, big old key rub right over there. Oh, wow, it's still daylight outside. getting wet. Hey. He's going back up in the building. Um,
here is the sample of what uh, color the headache rack's going to be. It matches the logo. Um, they actually did some intercooler piping on one of my personal trucks about four or five years ago, and that's how I picked the teal for the company logo for Express. Um, but anyways, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, we got to start doing some actual work instead of just playing around. Somebody has to start doing actual work. Somebody has to start doing actual work. <laughs> uh, we're really slow today. We only got one call lined up, which isn't, isn't a problem. I think we got a couple insurance companies coming to pick up today. Uh, a couple people cleaning their cars out. So that concludes it for the first uh, banana boo video. Um, in the next video, we'll sand the bed down and finish getting all the bed prep done. Uh, that way. Uh, we should have this back by the end of next week, uh, so that way once we get this back, we can just bolt it on. The bed will be done. i uh, got to do all the lights on it and, um, you know, just go through everything completely. Uh, anyways, stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, we'll do one of these, like, once a week um, until the truck's done. Say so it'd be about a month or two, so get a good, good couple videos out of it. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.